Storm Team 5 forecast with Chief Meteorologist Harvey Leonard. All right, first the overview on this powerful nor'easter that's on the way. It's going to produce heavy snow, powerful winds, put the two together, and for many of us at times, blizzard conditions. That's why there's a blizzard warning in effect. Look at the visibility in Boston right now. It's excellent. If you're with us this time tomorrow night, it's not going to look like that. That I can promise you. It's going to be way down as the snow will be falling. Pretty good at that time. 22 is the temperature. It has really gotten colder. That's one ingredient you need leading into a blizzard many times. Wind out of the north northwest at 12 miles an hour. It is now down to 16 in Worcester, 13 in Springfield, 11 in Concord, New Hampshire, 3 in Burlington, Vermont. That's the air that's working in ahead of the storm. And the clouds are starting to show, the high thin clouds, and ra snow is showing up on radar not far from New York City. A few flakes falling in Philadelphia right now, and then across Ohio, you've got the steady snow and into Pennsylvania. Right now, this is a storm that's just an ordinary storm. But when it gets to the East Coast, it's really going to get its feet wet in the ocean, really intensify, move up the coast, and bump into the cold air that's over us. That is a classic, a classic recipe for a major and powerful nor'easter here in southern New England. And on top of that, look at that heavy snow. It then will be a very slow mover. So this is going to be a duration of almost 36 hours of the snow. It won't exit until early on Wednesday. That's the overview of the timeline. Let's get more specific and close in. Notice this. There can be some very light snow or flurries that may come in off the ocean once the wind turns northeast tomorrow, cold air over the milder ocean waters. So you may see occasional light snow or flurries. But the main event will be coming up from the south, building in late afternoon and early evening, maybe merging with the ocean effect snow. And then by 8 or 9 o'clock tomorrow night, we're in it. Once we're in it, we're going to see one to two inch per hour snows. A few times could be up to three inches in the most intense bands per hour all night, the rest of tomorrow night, well into Tuesday, midday, and then bands of snow as the storm is so slow to move all the way through most of Tuesday night. It won't be till Wednesday early. The last of the snow exits the coast and the Cape, and then the skies will be able to clear. The broad view, how large the storm is, but look at where the jackpot area is right here in southern New England. It's a classic southern New England major nor'easter and blizzard. Two areas could be jackpotted. One would be around Worcester County, up to the Monadnock region of Hampshire. Other area, North Shore, South Shore, which may include Boston. So that's why I'm showing two feet or more for the North Shore, the South Shore, possibly Boston, 18 to 24 in general, and another area over two feet around Worcester County. Temperatures during the storm, well, look how cold it is early tomorrow. Now, it may get up to 29, 30, 31 on the coast late tomorrow into tomorrow night, but then the last half of the storm, even on the coast, will be cold as temperatures fall down. The Cape is the only place that may have some mixing, so the amounts could be a little bit less there, particularly down on Nantucket, but a very bad storm on the Cape. Now, one final thing I want to talk about is the seven day, but before that, let's talk about the effect of wind with this storm with Mike. Right, Harvey. You know, this is not going to be like the last one, which is that heavy, wet, gloppy snow. This is going to be able to be moved around by the wind. So I want to focus on what's going to happen with these winds throughout the storm. This is where they're going to be at uh, right now. As we head through the day tomorrow, you'll start to notice how they freshen up, become northeasterly. This is going to be at five o'clock tomorrow. And then as we head to the overnight hours, look at those wind gusts, especially near the coast. 50, 60, 70, perhaps even close to 80 miles per hour. Tuesday, they stay strong all day with that snow falling. These winds are going to be picking up that snow and moving around. There's going to be a lot of blowing and drifting. Even as we look at Wednesday, still gusty winds, but more from a northwesterly direction. So again, as I mentioned, close to 80 mile an hour wind gusts are a possibility down towards the Cape. That means they're up to hurricane strength, and there are going to be some power outages from this. This is what we're expecting right now. The areas we're most concerned with power outages, obviously at the coast, but once we start adding some heavy snow inland, we may also be dealing with the issues there as well. So many, many issues to deal with with this storm along the coast and also inland because of the wind. Harvey? All right, thanks, Mike. And here's what follows the storm. Wednesday, we get clearing skies. It's going to be cold. It's a very cold pattern overall, and there is a chance of some more snow around Friday, Friday night, that time period. We'll obviously talk more about that. Does not look like anywhere near the potential of this. We have this to deal with, but it's a very cold pattern. So once all this snow falls and accumulates, it isn't going anywhere in a hurry.